Happy New Year guys, my first video of 2020 and I wanted to kick off the year by sharing with you my three tips to help you lose the post Christmas belly bulge. Um, you know, if you're like me, I haven't exercised quite as much as I normally would uh, in the last couple of weeks. I've maybe overindulged a little bit, not maybe, but definitely overindulged a little bit in a bit more food, a bit more drink. You know, enjoyed Christmas with my friends and family like we should, like we all should be doing. But as a result of that, you know, I put on a few pounds, maybe you have too. So here are my three tips to help you lose your first four to six pounds in January and help you lose that post Christmas belly. Tip number one, portion size. It's all about portion sizes. You've probably been eating and drinking much more than what you would normally do um, throughout the rest of the year. So it really is key. Diet is 80% of weight loss. So it really is key to get your portion sizes down. I always say to my clients, you know, just use the palm of your hand as a guide. So your protein portion, your meat, should be the size of your palm. And your carbohydrates, again, just keep it the size of your palm. Have some veggies with that. And if you have three meals like that a day, then the likelihood is you're gonna be getting those calories back down to to probably slightly lower than what you normally would have, and that will put you into a calorie deficit and help you start losing those first few pounds. Tip number two, get moving more. Movement is key. You know, if you want to burn calories, you've got to, you've got to be active, you've got to move more. And you know, movement can be any form of exercise activity, going for walks, going for runs, getting to the gym, um, dancing, whatever kind of movement you enjoy doing, activity you enjoy doing, that's what I suggest you do because you know so many people set New Year's resolutions and come mid-February, you know, it's out of the window. They don't they don't follow through. But if it's something you enjoy, the likelihood is you're more likely to, to stick with it. Third and final tip, tip number three, throw the program out the window, scrap the program. Um, if you were thinking about following some kind of workout program, um, you can do, but if you're doing that in a gym, the likelihood is the gym, like any gym in January, it's gonna be mayhem. It's gonna be mad, crazy, busy in a gym in January. So the likelihood of you sticking with a, a structured program is, well, it's not very likely at all. If you're trying to stick to a plan, a program, the likelihood is you're gonna be waiting around for, for equipment and you're not gonna have as an effective workout as you might like. So my advice to you would be, again, Tip number two, movement. Just focus on moving, keep it moving. Don't wait around for machines, just keep moving. Find something else. So don't worry too much about following a program. Just keep it moving, get the workout done, work up a good sweat and get out of there. So that's my three tips for losing your first four to six pounds this January and losing that post Christmas belly bulge. And to celebrate the new year, to celebrate 2020, I'm giving away 200 free copies of my book, The Muscle and Hustle Method. So if you want all the tools you're gonna to need in terms of exercise, nutrition, mindset, lifestyle, then grab yourself a copy of The Muscle and Hustle book. It's a, it's a real life you know, program that's gonna help you fit in exercise into your busy lifestyle. So if you'd like a free copy, one of, the, one of the first 200 copies this year, then you need to comment on this video. Comment muscle or hustle, and I'll send you a free copy. All you need to do is cover the small shipping fee. The book's worth £9.99 on Amazon, or $15 for my American friends. All you need to do is cover the small shipping fee, and I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. Okay, have you found that useful? Give me some thumbs up, give me some comments, give me some love. And Happy New Year to you once again, and I'll see you on the next video.